Let's learn how to convert an isolated image into a silhouette in PowerPoint using just three clicks. If your image is not isolated like this, you can still convert it into a silhouette and you can even have it stylized like this. I'll show you all that and more in this video. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. Here I am on a new slide. Let us insert a picture. Let us go to stock images. For the first technique, the image needs to be isolated. What do I mean by an isolated image? You need to have transparent background. You can see there are quite a few of these images that are readily available in PowerPoint. Of course, you can find any image that you want of anything, not necessarily of human beings, and you can still convert it into a silhouette. Let us take one random picture here. Go to insert. Now we will have the image available on our slide. Let us keep this to one side so you can see the comparison. Maybe I can slightly reduce the size and then let us press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. All you need to do is right click, go to format picture, go to this option here called picture, then go to picture corrections, then just three simple things. Sharpness, increase it all the way to 100%. Brightness, reduce it all the way to minus 100%. Contrast, increase it all the way to plus 100%. Finished, you got your silhouette. Sharpness, 100%. Brightness minus 100%, contrast plus 100%. Now, what if the image is not isolated? You need to first isolate the image and then apply the exact same technique we just showed you. To isolate this image, all you need is to select this image, go to picture format, go to remove background tool, and that does this thing where you have these pink areas, which are all treated as background by PowerPoint. When you click outside, you will see this result. Naturally, it is not perfect. So once again, let us select this, go back to remove background. Now, let us make some adjustments to ensure that we keep the things we want and discard the things we don't. For that, let us go to mark areas to keep by clicking on it. And then let us keep the hair here. I just drew and you can see that I'm able to claim it all back to the picture. Then I want the collar, maybe a little bit here as well. And then I want to claim the shirt, maybe a little bit here. Now all the portion I want is retained. The remaining is treated as a background. I can say keep changes. Now this image is isolated from its background. How do you know? You can right click, go to format background and you can fill it with any color and you can see that this image is nicely isolated from its background. Let us go back to automatic. Then the next step is right click on this image, go to format picture, Go to picture option, then you know the routine. Sharpness 100%, brightness minus 100%, contrast plus 100%, the job is done. Now, what if I want to show some elements like the collar and tie? I can do that by drawing using a simple curve tool. Let me show you how it is done. Let us create a duplicate of the slide. The first one I'm going to reset. So let us go to picture format, go to reset picture that will claim the original picture back. Here, I'm going to use the curve tool. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From lines, you can see this one called as curve. You click on it and then you draw the curves around the area that you want to claim. Let me zoom in a little so it becomes much easier for me to do so. Let us go down a little bit. Click here, click again, click again, click, 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 and then click again and finally we've got our right collar done. Now let me pick up the curve tool once again and then click, click, click. You don't really have to be absolutely perfect or anything as long as you're able to indicate the collar, it is more than enough. You can see that I am doing a decent job but ne not necessarily the best job in trying to draw the collar. Now this looks all right. Let us go to the curve tool once again. This time I'm going to draw the tie. So here I have got my tie drawn and I'm just getting the knot taken care of at this point. Yeah, that is the knot. Let us pick up the curve tool and then draw, click, click. If you want it to be very accurate, then you can click on multiple spots along the tie. Maybe I'm going to keep this very straight. Click here, click here, 
click here and then click here and maybe I can go all the way here and this is the tie. Now the best part about this is I can right click and go to edit points and I can make my adjustments later. So I don't really have to be perfect in the way that I draw. Now if you feel it will be a good idea for us to select this and this and merge it you can do so by using shape union. Select this and this and merge it using shape union and then let us select both of these press ctrl c go back here and then click on this option here called fit slide to current window so you can see the normal view press ctrl v now i can select this portion which is for the collar and i can give it light gray color like so go to shape outline no outline and for the tie i can give pure white color like so so there is still a distinction between the two elements and you can see that this silhouette looks perfect. If you liked this simple tutorial, then you will love this tutorial even more. In this, I have shown you a 10 second technique. Yes, a 10 second technique to create beautiful photo effects like this in PowerPoint. Even if you are a rank beginner, you can create such stunners. I will leave a link to this video right here on your screen. Click on the link, watch the video and learn that really effective and interesting technique right now. I'll see you inside that video.